Um, with a new litter of piglets now um, comes a lot of new questions or a lot of questions from a lot of new people. And so I've been getting a lot of the same questions and instead of trying to type out the answers to every single person, um, it's just a little bit easier <laughs> to make a video. Um, I can get the point across a little better. Um, so in this video, I'm going to answer the questions that I've been getting a lot of lately. Number one, are pigs born with their eyes open? And the answer is yes. Um, you know, think about it like a, a dog and a cat are approximately pregnant for around two months or so. A pig is almost four months. So those babies bake a lot longer. Um, when they come out, they're much more mature. They're much more uh, like fully formed type of a thing um, because you think about it, pigs are prey animals. So in the wild, um, if a mother pig farrows out somewhere in the woods, um, she would hide, she would make a bed and she would, you know, try to hide from predators. But if predators were to um, come around or she felt in danger, then she would get up and leave and those babies are going to have to follow her. So they can see they're born with their eyes open, they're born with their ears open, they can hear, um, and they not only can they walk, but they can run. And they're pretty feisty when they're born. It's so cute. If you watch my videos, I try to post a lot of them playing as I can because it's just the cutest darn thing ever. So it's really important for a prey animal to be able to get away from danger and they need to be able to follow their mother because she doesn't have a pouch to carry them or she doesn't carry her babies in her mouth ever. They have to be able to follow her. So yes, really neat. Piglet, piglets are born with their eyes open. Um, the second question I've been getting a lot lately is what? why does the mother make noise when she is nursing them? And it's very fascinating because a mother pig actually sings to her young while she is nursing. And if, if you really watch them, you can tell if they're pacifying or if they're actually eating. And a lot of it has to do with the mother. The mother cues them and lets them know when her body is gonna let the milk down and she does that by singing. So when she sings, you know that they're actually getting food and sustenance. At other times, um, if she's just letting them pacify off of her or just you know try to nurse off of her, um, they're not getting anything. She has to be making noise for that milk to drop down. So pretty fascinating. Another question is, how well do pigs do in the house? And this is kind of a loaded question because so much depends on the pig, you know, how it was raised. And um, a lot of it depends on you as a family. You know, um, people who've never had any animals in the house ever before and then get a pig, it can be kind of a shock. But if you've had a dog before that's knocked the trash over or chewed on shoes or um, had accidents in the house, then a, a pig is very similar to a dog in that sense that um, it's an animal. You know what I mean? Like it's an animal. When it's young, it's gonna have accidents. When it's, um, it's gonna get into things, you're gonna have to watch it. So if, if you're gonna bring a pig into your house, just be prepared to treat it almost like it's a child, you know, like a toddler that you have to keep your eye on. That's just the honest truth. Um, when Topanga's in the house, sh if she's out like amongst us, we're always watching her. We're always watching her. Her little hooves, we can hear them. Um, we can hear like in her bed, if she's laying in her bed on her heating pad, we know where she is. So, and, and I try to do things like keep her busy, like whimsies and things like that. And, and that's great. Um, but a pig does need a safe place to go to. We have two for Topanga. Um, we have her, her crate, which is a medium sized dog crate in our laundry room with um, blankets and it's covered in a blanket and she's got her stuffed animals in there that she sleeps with. So that's her bed. Generally during the day, if we're home, she's not in there. Um, you know, if I have to leave, then that is a safe place for me to keep her because um, it's safe for her, it's safe for my house. But we also have an extra large size dog crate on the porch and that allows her to be outside. Maybe, you know, if I'm in the shower or if I'm, uh, maybe I'm doing, I'm working, you know, I'm working with the piglets downstairs. 
we can't keep an eye on her. So I'll put her in her huge dog crate on the porch with a whimsy or something. And she does, like she has grazing time and all kinds of things outside, but that's just maybe when I, I can't pay attention to her. Cause like we have windows all around our house so I can see her all the time when she's outside. But maybe times when I'm in the basement, I can't see her. So help, I'll put her in that crate on the porch. She can still be outside in the fresh air. She gets the morning sun. Like all of those things are great for her, but it's a safe place. I don't have to worry about her. So it's important like, and all pigs are different. <laughs> Some pigs get into more trouble than other pigs. A lot of it is just personality. Um, Topanga, when she was young, got into everything. But now that she's getting older and we've kind of chased her out of a lot of places like bathrooms and um, the pantry so many times that she tends to steer clear of those places now. So it's gotten a lot easier since she's gotten a little older. Um, but as far as like pigs in the house, I know I've talked like all over the subject, but in my opinion, pigs do fantastic in the house. But again, there are so many factors involved, like um, the family, you know, what are you guys willing to put up with and that kind of a thing. And then what kind of pig is it? You know, some pigs, some pigs do eat drywall. They do, some do. Some do pull up flooring. For the most part, these are pigs that are left several things they're left home alone out and they can just do whatever they want and they get bored number two um it could be pigs that are they rule the roost you know like they're at the top of the they're at the top of the herd and they don't listen to people um but not always not always sometimes you know pigs are like they're an instigator at times like when it comes to other animals they instigate things um but also, like, have you ever just met that person who just can't let something go? Like, oh my gosh, just be enough about the subject, okay? Just let it go. <laughs> Pigs are kind of like that too. They get something in their mind and they just can't let it go. So maybe like a little piece of food went under your flooring or got into a crack and they just can't, they just, they have to have it. They just can't. So it's important to be able to watch your pig at all times. You just have to watch it. If your pig is getting into things, if your pig is um, like being extremely destructive, contact me because I'll be able to help you um, either change those behaviors or figure out a way to keep your pig from doing those things. Generally, um, if you watch your pig and you socialize your pig and you make sure your pig is at the bottom of the totem pole, then those issues are, they're very much less likely to happen. Next question. Do pigs have a smell like dogs? Um, no, they don't. I am so sorry to any dog. Like I know that there are like people out there who like just their dogs are their babies. I am not that person. I, I, I don't care. I love, I loved our dog. Um, she's wonderful. I love her and I love her. She, my boys play with her and walk her and train her. I, I love that, but I'm not the person who's going to let a dog in my bed. I, I just don't, that's just not me. And it's not my husband either. Um, we don't, our dog doesn't even come in our house. Um, we have allergies, so that's part of it too, but just the smell alone. I don't, I don't care for it. Dog smell. That's just me. Um, Pigs do not have that smell. Now, pigs do have an odor. Um, it's all their own. And they don't have it often. Like, I always, when I go in the building outside to feed my pigs, um, Axel will jump up and he'll talk to me. And when I get in his face, his breath smells like maple syrup. It, I, when I walk over to him, that's what he smells like. Even though he's out in a building and he, yesterday I just saw him rolling in a huge uh, like puddle of mud. He rolls in mud, but he smells like maple syrup. So not all my pigs smell that way, but Topanga smells that way too sometimes. Um, now I do, I wash her bedding probably like, I don't know, maybe like twice a month or so, but it's not because it stinks. It's just mostly because right now she's bringing in mud and it's leaving dirt. That's mostly why. But pigs really don't have a smell. Like if 
I mean, they could be in filth and smell, but just in general, no, they don't have a smell. And that's one thing that I really love about them. Next, are they good with potty training? And again, this is like a loaded question. <laughs> it's so hard like to answer just like general statements because um, there's just so many different, like what they're taught when they're young, like when they're born, all of those things, they matter. If you have a pig that's born and raised in a barn and then you bring it in the house, it's gonna have, it's gonna struggle because it's just not used to, you know, like having to pick a place to potty. It's not, it's it's gonna be confused. Like there's no smell. So where do I go? I don't know. So I'll just go anywhere and make a new pot spot. Um, my piglets are potty trained. They do excellent. For the most part, when they go to their new homes, um, they don't have, they may have an accident until they figure out their area. Um, but they do really well because we start so early with litter boxes. Um, that's all they know. Now, um, what I was going to say something else about litter box. Oh, uh, the one thing like that I always tell people is that when you bring a piglet home, you know, it needs to have an area of its own. It needs to have a small area, like four by six, you know, five by eight, something like that. Something small because a piglet, when it goes to its new home, still has a very immature bladder. So it need, it can't hold it. Like if you just bring a piglet home and let it loose in your house, it's not gonna be able to hold it all the way back to the litter box. So it's really important to have a confined space that's a safe place, like I already mentioned. They have to have a safe place, safe for them, safe for your home. Um, and then when you when you bring them out into your home um, and they're walking around and they're getting used to it, watch your rugs and your carpeting because to them that just instinctively is kind of like grass. So if they're gonna have an accident, most likely it's gonna be on a rug or carpet, something like that. So just watch them around those areas. Um, but for the most part, they do very, very well with potty training. It's easy to potty train them because I have a couple video, or I know I have at least one really good video on this um, about how I potty train the piglets, like how I set them up for success. If you take the tips from that video, the chances are you're not gonna have any trouble with potty training. It's really not, like if somebody says, oh, I'm having trouble with potty training, I don't sweat at all because I'm like, I probably have four or five things that you're not doing that you can help to kind of set them up for success. So potty training is easy. And then when it comes to transitioning them to go outside, oh, that's super easy. All it takes is consistency and a really good treat. Like um, I like to use those hard peppermint candies and I just like would take a hammer and crack them. So they're like tons of small pieces and I would just like put it in my pocket and every time she would go out for potty, first it was just getting her out the door. Oh, good girl, got a treat for just for coming outside. And then it was for going down the ramp. Oh, good girl, you got a good treat for just going down the ramp. And then once her feet hit that, gra that grass, she just instinctively wants to potty. So every time, and, and I would just take her out like every two hours and just give her a treat for going potty each time. So that it's that's not an issue at all it's pretty easy um <clears throat> is it best to have them crated at night and in my opinion yes it is better to have them crated at night and and for a couple reasons number one again it's that safe place that it's safe for your house it's safe for them um it keeps them in their confined area. Now, when they're babies, like when you first bring them home, having them in that four by six or whatever area, that's okay too. If you just wanna keep them in there, that's okay too. Or you can continue to crate them. I crate train initially. And that doesn't mean they're not gonna potty in there just because of their bladder size. It's just so immature. Um, but it means they're not gonna scream and cry and be upset in a crate. So. Um, I do feel it's good. Um, sometimes pigs that are left, like maybe some people want to sleep with them. I know many people who do and it's just fine. But I also knew, know many people who do and it's not just fine. The pig feels like they're on your level and they kind of try to take over that space. And then they can get mean 
And nobody wants like a nipping pig at night who you're just trying to roll over and they're like, oh, that's my warm spot and they get upset. So I just, I just prefer not to go there. So I do create my house pig at night. Last question, do you think they'd be happier in a barn? And again, a lot of that is personality of the pig. Um, pigs are happy outside. There's no doubt about it. There is nothing inhumane or wrong with having a pig outside. Absolutely nothing. They love the outside. They love the sun. They love the grass. They love to root in hay and all, all that kind of stuff. They love that. That being said, having a pig in the house is kind of something special too. I love having my house pig. In the evening, I just love to be sitting on the couch and just look over at her bed, on, see her laying on her heating pad, just happy as can be. I do, I love it. She's the best vacuum cleaner. She cleans up all my crumbs for my kids. <laughs> so I would say, as far as like, I would say both, both are great. House, barn, whatever you decide, is great and two you can take cues from your pig you know if if your pig is always wanting to go outside and loves to hang out in the barn with the goats and the horses and whatever else is out there then maybe they would be happier in the barn but when they're little i would suggest keeping them in the house that way um you know they're already desensitized to home living and if you just put them outside it's going to be lonely and it's going to be scary so i would say keep them in the house until they're um maybe like six eight months old maybe even a year old and then start letting them outside and see what they like so that's just my opinion i mean people can do whatever they want with their pig but i do think that animals are very happy outside so i'm not worried about that worried about putting mine outside at all all right, guys, if anybody has any more questions, please feel free to send them to me. I, tr I try to answer questions constantly, um, but sometimes my fingers are just tired of typing. It's easier to talk. So thanks so much for watching, guys.